my name is Phil from TurboMania.com. This is my first video, but the plan is to do more on a regular basis. So if you've got five minutes, grab a brew. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See you soon. Thank you very much. Right, so today's topic, 12D295 cylinder heads. Got a typical example here. If we flip it over, it's easy to identify. 12G295, cast right in the middle there, so easy to spot that. Flip it back over the other way, uh, and it's got a completely different chamber designed to do the small bore heads. It's a lot more open here, very similar to the 1275 heads, uh, a lot less shrouded than the other small bore casting, so much better chamber design uh, as regards airflow. These heads were fitted to both the 998 Cooper and the MG1100 uh, all the way back in the mist of time in the 1960s so they're pretty old castings obviously uh, there's quite a few issues you can find with them uh, they're quite prone to cracking obviously due to their age uh, the valve seats are uh, particularly narrow from the factory so even the inlets uh, which don't usually wear commonly on most heads can wear quite badly plus the uh, throat pretty much comes um, from about 90 degree angle to the actual valve seat so once the valve starts to recess, if you cut the seat for the same size valve again, the valve pretty much starts to disappear into the throat. So you really need to go into an oversized valve to reclaim the seat generally. Uh, the exhausts obviously wear because they never had an unleaded, an unleaded insert fitted. Obviously in, back in those days they didn't do that. So they wear. Obviously it's pretty easy to put an insert in there and reclaim that. But obviously as to the cost, if you are lucky enough to find a good one, they're a great head for small bore supercharged and turbo engines. Uh, generally due to the large uh, capacity chamber which is 28.3 cc as standard so it's a bit bigger than the other small bar so you pop that on drop your compression nicely the only issue is you tend to find they've usually been skimmed quite a bit because the cooper the 998 cooper that they were fitted to as standard it had a uh, raised crown pistons so uh, the chambers were larger to give it a sensible compression ratio uh, as most of these have been fitted to other normally aspirated engines with either flat tops or dish pistons, you generally find you've been skimming quite a lot to reset the compression. Uh, if it's turbo supercharged, you're obviously looking for the larger chamber, so just bear that in mind if you're buying second hand that uh, you need to measure it and obviously see if it's suitable for your application. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, you might have seen a few weeks ago that I actually did some uh, flow bench testing of a 295, a 202, and a 4810 casting. And uh, the 295 flowed the most, the 202 second most, and the 4810 the least. Uh, partly due to the valve size difference, as the uh, 295 casting has a 30.93mm inlet valve, the 202 has a 29.36mm inlet, and the stock small bore heads, 4810 etc., has a 26.9mm inlet valve. But also, the 295 casting has far superior part into the others. Uh, much more open design in there with minimal guide boss and then obviously a larger inlet valve and the superior chamber design so as far as flow potential goes the 295 has a lot of the work done for you over the other heads the other heads can be modified to improve the performance a hell of a lot but as far as that goes this is a lot of the work's done for you if you can find an unskimmed one a good condition one then uh, you're already way ahead of the game these heads are quite sought after, obviously because they can give decent performance on a small bore engine, but you need to bear in mind the age of them, uh, and to be honest, most of them, 99% of the time, are pretty knackered. So if you can pick it up cheap, then obviously bear in mind you're probably going to have to buy new guides, like I explained before, the seats wear, so unless the seats have been reconditioned, then you're going to probably need to insert the exhaust and or go up a valve size. Uh, you're going to need springs, you're probably going to need the valves themselves, uh, and then you probably want to give it a light skim just to make sure it's flat, Unless you can find one where all this has been done and you know it's been done to a decent standard then bear in mind when buying one that it can be quite an expensive head to do because you've got your initial casting and then you've got all the other parts on top so obviously just have a proper look at it and buying off the likes of eBay you know you're taking a you're taking a punt there it might be a load of rubbish when it turns up but uh, if you can find a decent one that's been done properly they are a great little head. So this is a CAM 4810 head casting which is the uh, standard 998 head casting with a 26.99mm inlet valve. As you can see the chamber design is completely different to the 295. It's really tight around the valves here, straight up vertical walls, massive restriction around there. 
they can be cut back to improve airflow but as standard that's a really restrictive design if we flip it over and have a look at the ports ports are minuscule there really tiny they're massive restrictive even on that valve size if we then move that out of the way bring a 12g202 casting so this is the 1100 so very similar chamber design there cut back slightly bigger inlet valve at 29.36 mil but still massively shrouded and restrictive chamber turn it over there's the ports they are quite a bit more open on this so it does show an improvement in airflow it's quite a bit better than the 4810 casting but still nowhere near what the 295 casting is bring the 295 in bigger inlet valve 30.93 much better chamber design and much more open port in there so yeah far better head to start with if you don't really want to do much work to it so hopefully that's given you a few pointers on what to look out for and things to bear in mind if you're thinking of uh, buying a 295 casting uh, in a future video I'll actually be reconditioning this head and showing you how to also make some improvements uh, flow wise to it to turn it into a pretty decent head for a for a small bar motor so stay tuned for that thanks for watching well if you made it this far hope you enjoyed the video uh, stay safe and I'll see you all again soon thank you